five to eleven. As before all of that, if sweat scares you stiff or flying gives you a fright, the speakments are here now with your phobias. Um, so we're going to get stuck in. Welcome. So nice Good to morning. see you. Good morning. How are you? Thank you? Let's start off with Lisa, first of all. Hello, Lisa. Hi, Holly. Hi, yeah, everyone. Hi. Good Hi. to talk to you. Well, you've Thanks. got a really exciting trip coming up. You're going to Disney World soon, is that right? I have in August with my daughter, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. And you think, well, this is the dream. We're going to have the best time. Except for one thing, you have a fear of... Roller coasters. Oh. <laughs> and, and you want to be able to break this fear. You want to go really and enjoy it. I really want to be able to experience everything and enjoy it all, but I'm just so scared. I know. <laughs> I get that. All right. Right, Lisa, obviously you need to get over this because this is a trip of a lifetime going mm -hmm. to Disney. So, let yeah. me ask you, how many, uh, how many are you, right? I'm just, Who's going? Just, just me and my daughter are going this time, yeah. Just you and your daughter. And how yeah. does your daughter feel about uh, roller coasters? Well, she she really likes them and really wants me to go on everything with her, and I'm just so scared, but I really want to try and do it with her. Oh. Amazing. Right, OK, so we know that you're not born with a fear of roller coasters, so have you got any idea at all when this started? Probably when I was younger. My mum has, has, you know, had a fear of heights and things like that, so maybe... I, you know, I've just followed in her footsteps, I guess. Yeah. Um, and also, when I was little, we went to a theme park and the cable car that takes you across over, you know, um, that got stuck. Oh, <laughs> and right. That'll it, do it. And Absolutely. it was just stop, it stopped for ages and I was just so scared and I just thought it was going to fall and I was oh, going to die you and, go. you know, all of that. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so I mean, obviously, there's two I things going on. that's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, and that's it. But there's two things going she's on. No because, doctor, yeah, but... <laughs> she's got it. Um, but firstly, let's just uh, let's just box off your mum because uh, essentially, what your mum has taught you to be fearful uh, of things like that, and, and you know, you copy your accent off your mum, and, you know, so you don't question that. So that's the first thing. So you're already, you know, slightly fearful way. anyway, yeah. and then you're on this ro on this. Um, Cable, cable, cable. Uh, and you get stuck on that. And all it takes is one, one thought in a second where you go, I think I'm going to die. And you said the words there. Yeah. Uh, and, and then, you know, it, it's created. And even though you got off safely, it doesn't matter because you can't reverse it. No. So what I want you to consider is, firstly, that you did get off safely. Yeah. OK, that's the first thing. And the second thing here is, obviously, you're going to, you're going to Disneyland with your daughter, yeah. and your daughter, obviously, loves roller coasters. You yeah. know, so, would, so would you let your daughter go on something that's not safe? Of course not. No, of course not. OK, so, th so these are things that I need you to consider. Number one, you felt, you felt afraid when you were a little girl, but you got off it and everything was OK. Yeah. And now you let your daughter go on roller coasters. And again, uh, this, this is more of the, the, the height than the roller coaster, isn't it, really? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Do, do you like going fast? Yeah, I love it. I love, like, right. the speed, speed of things. It's just, I think it's the height. It's the yeah. anticipation of going up. You know, we're at the beginning of a roller yeah. coaster and you're going up, 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 and then it's, oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. So, so this this is all about the height. So just consider when you yeah. were little, you were frightened. You know, you thought that was going to end badly, but it didn't. Yeah. Right. So, that, got, so the height didn't do anything. Yeah. You've actually yeah. got more evidence than most that being stuck up high is going to cause you no problems at all. And that's what I what we'd like you to revert back to is yeah. even when I've been up high, I have never had an issue. And do you know you've got to attribute some anxiety in context because that's the fun of going on a roller coaster. Yeah. We all have that level yeah. of kind of adrenaline and anxiety as we start to embark up because we know what's about to happen mm -hmm. and that's, that's the bit that's so scary. So, so don't attribute that to being part of your phobia. Some of that is completely normal and part of the fun. Point, so yeah. have a think about that. And the last thing I'd like to say, as you're queuing up, a great little technique that you can use is to, it's to just help lower your heart rate a little bit and to feel calmer. And that is literally to stimulate the vagus nerve. And all you need to do is put a tight seal around your thumb like this and, and just blow. Yeah. What, are you biting your thumb? Not biting no, it. I'm putting a tight, tight seal. seal around my thumb. I'm and, and by blowing right. it, but there's no air... I'm not allowing the air to come out. I'm stimulating the vagus nerve, and the vagus nerve helps... Like I say it helps to reduce our blood pressure, helps to reduce our heart rate a little bit. Do Don't overdo it, cos you'll go dizzy, but yeah. it's just a great little technique while you're standing in, in that line, yeah. just to help you feel it a little but, bit And better. just one last thing, while you're standing in that line, just take a look at all the children I who know. are also in that line yeah. and are also <laughs> so excited to be on 
on those roller fair, coasters. roller coaster is meant to make you scared. Oh, I yeah. think you're just going to have more fun at the end of it than most. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be a better experience. I know that I'll love it at the end. Yeah. I know that I will. You yeah. will. And, and with all that information there on top of that, that should just help it just be more Send, us, fun. send us a picture, Lisa, and have the best We're time, all right? I've Thank just, you so well much. Done. I've just stimulated my Vegas nerve. It makes me want to go to Vegas. Is that what <laughs> <laughs> it's working really well. Um, Rebecca is in Middlesbrough. She's on the phone as well. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. Doing? Hello, Anna. Hello. Hi. Hi. So, what's your fear? My fear is dogs. Ah, uh, okay. This is very common, actually, it isn't is, it? It yeah. is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, quick question: um, Do so? If you've got a fear of dogs, how long have you had this fear of dogs, to your knowledge? Um, I feel like I've had it all my life, as, to, as long as I can remember, pretty much. Yeah. Um, but I think. Um, around a young, a very young age, my mum said that I was always scared of dogs. OK, so we know that you weren't always, always scared of dogs. It might feel that way. But what that does tell us is that you must have had some sort of an experience when you were very little and you felt fearful and now attribute that same anxiety and fear to dogs as you did back then. So what is your very, very earliest memory of a dog? Um, I would say my very earliest memory that I can remember is being in my auntie's room and she had a dog um, and basically the dog kept jumping up at me, barking at me um, and obviously I just remember being frozen stiff right. with fear. Right, OK, so that, the great news is that that would suggest that that's the start because they wouldn't have put you in that room and you wouldn't have been in that room had you already had a fear of dogs. Does that make sense? Yeah. So yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's great yeah. because you now got what we class as the installation and it's that that you need to think about. So did the dog bite you? It didn't, no. OK, no. so what did the dog do? I think I just basically jumped up and just barked at me. OK, and why do you think it might have been jumping up? I suppose, when, you, when I look at it now, I suppose just it was excited and Absolutely. wanted to play, maybe. So is what you're saying that the dog was, was actually, it was, it was friendly? I suppose it was, yeah, but yeah. to me, yeah, probably it wasn't. Right, <laughs> but and, yeah, and yeah, 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 you're absolutely wasn't. right, which is the second part of this. So first of all, we need to attribute that jumping around to actually being happy. And the second is to think about that height comparison from when you were three compared to the dog to where you are now. And when you can put that together and actually see, because you're currently seeing it through the child's yeah. eyes, but see it through the adults, you'll notice actually that suddenly that's Suddenly you'll realise. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those things that you need to sit with and then suddenly you'll go, OK, OK, and it'll all drop into place. Because the dog won't be as big no. as it felt then. Back then. Well, let us know how you yeah. get on if yeah. you start to feel better with that. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. I suppose it gives me an idea of where it may have started in yeah, the first exactly. place. Yeah, obviously exactly. Obviously, it continues on, doesn't it, through adult life. Yeah. Yeah. And very common. I yeah. Think. Oh, oh, yeah, very much. Completely. Yeah, but the great yeah. thing to do is to go to animal sanctuaries and see dogs that are controlled to start to okay. kind of build a resistance. See them in a different yeah. way. Thank you, both. Thank, Thank you very so much. That's yeah. very good. Thank you. She can never meet Hank the Tank. No, he'll no, no, no he'll no. jump in her arms. No, yeah, she won't like that. He's uh, he is a dote. Uh, right, still to come, 